हेलो ग्रिप फैमिली वेलकम टू अनदर वीकली अपडेट वीडियो आई होप दैट आर ऑल डूइंग फाइन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट अप इज द प्राइस ऑफ ग्रेप द बॉटम ऑफ ग्रेप वॉज फाउंड एट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव डॉलर्स राइट नाउ द प्राइज इज सिटिंग एट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइन डॉलर्स एंड द प्राइज इज अप एट पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स आई डोंट मीन टू शेयर एनी अल्फाज राइट नाउ बट हे आई कैन प्रोमिस यू दैट समथिंग एक्साइटिंग इज कमिंग नाउ वाइट बी द राइट टाइम टू डी सी ए योर ग्रेप बैग्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वाइन वाइन्स प्राइज इज सिटिंग एट फोर्टी फाइव डॉलर्स एंड इट इज अप सिग्निफिकेंटली इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वी ब्रोक द प्रीवियस लो ऑफ थर्टी एट डॉलर्स एंड वाइन वेंट ऑल द वे डाउन टू थर्टी वन डॉलर्स पीपल दैट स्कूप अप वाइन एट थर्टी वन थर्टी टू और थर्टी थ्री डॉलर्स आर सिटिंग एट नाइस प्रॉफिट्स राइट नाउ आई वुड एंड एडवाइज यू टू सेल योर वाइन राइट नाउ बिकॉज इट इज ग्रेटली अंडर वैल्यूड टाइम टू टेक अ लुक एट हाउ द एन एफ टीज आर परफॉर्मिंग फर्स्ट अप इज द विंटर्स द फ्लोर प्राइस ऑफ विंटर्स इज सिटिंग एट वन पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन एवेक्स एंड इट इज अप सिंस द लास्ट टाइम वी वेर हियर If I remember correctly, the floor price of Winters peaked at 1.9 AVX in the last 24 hours. Some bullish news are coming for the winemaker game, so now might be the right time to scoop up one of these NFTs. Next up is the winery collection. The floor price of winery collection is sitting at 3.38 AVX. The price of Goonwax is pretty undervalued, given the news of version two nodes. I'll talk about version two nodes a bit later into this video, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. The floor is pretty thin, and AVX is down too. So if you have some extra funds lying down, now might be the time to scoop off one of the goon bags. All right, let's take a look at the wine press. Total deposit LPs in the wine press is sitting at eight thousand five hundred and eighty-eight wine mim LP tokens. This roughly equates to one hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars. Now this number will increase as the wine prices increases. The real way to track the progress of wine press is to track the total deposited LPs. This number has increased consistently. So make sure that you keep hitting this compound button. The return in the wine press once wine hits triple digits will be very significant. Also do not forget to buy lottery tickets with your grapes. All the grapes used for buying the lottery tickets will directly be burned. The lottery pool will keep increasing once the cycle repeats itself. Time to take a look at the winemaker game. First up is the price of vintage. The price of vintage is sitting at zero point zero zero four dollars, and it is up five percent in the last twenty four hours. We saw this little pump when staking of S vintage was announced. Remember to stake your S vintage in the vineyard to earn a nice APR of two point two percent. As far as the update goes in the wine maker a new skill was added in the wine maker game this skill is called as the night shifts and it will decrease the effects of fatigue by 20% so y'all better get to work before moving forward i would like to show you all our announcement in the server this is regarding the lc refund for grapes grapes received a total of $58000 from the $300000 that was raised through the grape presale page now Half of this was used to buy back grape, but it ultimately resulted in being used as the exit liquidity. The remaining half, rounded up to thirty thousand dollars, has now been airdropped directly to grape investors who purchased through Grape Page. So please check your wallet for USDC E and not USDC or MIM. You can use those funds to buy either wine or grape because you will be getting a very nice deal right now. Time to take a look at the dashboard of Grape Finance. The contracts for winery, treasury, grape node, etc., are now on the homepage, as well as the contracts for the tokens and LPs. All right, it's time for the AMA recap and talk about weekly updates. With pack campaign, Vinium, and few other updates, this month and the next month is looking very bullish for grape finance. Time to make grape grape again. Now you would ask, how will grape be grape again? The first thing is that Grip Finance brought in new core team members. These are Taz, Fizil and Havok. They have already been in Grip Finance and they were all helping Grip Finance in one or other way. Taz was a moderator who was helping out with the UI stuff. Fizil was also a moderator who helped out in education and strategy. 
Winter, who was a mod, is now the head of marketing. So expect to see a few things changing in Grip Finance. A little alpha for you all. LB talked about a yielding token, which is now in a testing phase by LB. So expect some announcement soon. Now I am going to recap the last AMA by talking about five things. First is the pack campaign. Second is the Vinium. Third is the winemaker game. Fourth is wine press. And last but not least, version two nodes. First up is pack campaign, which Frozen Walrus is going through. So let's take a look at the price of Walrus. So during the initial days of the pack campaign, Walrus did manage to reach pack. After which it was dumped heavily, and again it reached pack the second time, and now it's trading at zero point six four dollars. So what can Grip Finance learn from these things? What we can do is see what worked and what did not work. LB already has the contracts for the pack campaign, and he has mentioned that he can do changes if absolutely necessary. The plan was to launch pack campaign, but because wine press was ready, LB decided to launch that first. Regarding the pack, our very valued community member Guepo has suggested a few things, and LB is taking those things into consideration. So let's see how those things play out. Until that time, make sure you keep DCing your bags into wine and grape. It's time to address the elephant in the room, which you may have guessed, the Vinium. Vinium will be the lending and borrowing protocol by Grape Finance. A very interesting question was asked in the AMA regarding Vinium. The question was, will leveraged yield farming be available in Vinium? The answer is yes. To put in simple terms, leveraged yield farming is where you borrow to farm assets. Something like Impermax. Impermax is on AVEX, and as you can see, there aren't much pairs where you can leverage yield farm with. The Avalanche TVL is only seven hundred thousand dollars, and there aren't many options where you can leverage yield farm on AVEX chain. So this is a very untapped market, and the potential is huge. The leverage yield farming won't come right away in Vinium. The first phase will be like Aave, where there will be isolated pools. And the phase two will be leverage yield farming. Leverage yield farming won't come right away with Vinium. People have been asking when will Vinium be launched. Good news is that Vinium is already in the audit. The audit is expected to end on the first week of September. The launch time will be decided depending on how the report comes out. The team needs to check what needs to be changed or fixed. So expect Vinium launch in the second or third week of September. But there hasn't been no date given as of yet. Now another question was, how is Vinium different from something like Impermax or Alpaca or Alpha Hamora? The answer is that the first phase will be, of course, like Aave, where there will be isolating lending pools. But in the later stages, you will be able to borrow against your grape and wine, which is of course not possible with other protocols. The thing to remember is that you won't be able to borrow grape or wine. If you are someone who's auto compounding, let's say your grape meme, then you'll be able to borrow against those assets. The receipt you get after staking in the auto compounders will be used to borrow against. Let's discuss a few things regarding the wine maker game. As you all know, the minting has been stopped for the wine maker game, and a lot of people have been asking when will the minting will resume. LB has clearly said that when the demand exceeds the supply, he will resume the minting. So you better keep your grapes and AVEX ready to mint. I suggest you all to use your grape to mint, as this will take grapes out of the supply. For now, the plan is to keep improving the game and keep adding updates. Recently, a new skill was launched, so make sure you get your hands on it. A few people have been saying that the wine maker game is not working as intended. So let me share some statistics with you. Since the launch of the game. Over three hundred thousand grapes have been burned. Over one hundred and fifty thousand grapes were used in the minting, which now the treasury holds, and five thousand grapes are burned on a daily basis in the wine maker game. So let me assure you that the wine maker game is working as intended. Let's move on to the wine press. There has been confusions regarding the claim and compound option in the wine press. What compounding means is that it increases your share pool. 
So it means that it increases how much you can claim without being assassinated. So it doesn't directly affect or increases your APRs, but rather it increases your ROI over a period of time. Make sure you use your grips to buy tickets in the lottery. This way you can have a chance to bring lottery prizes while burning grips in the process. The lottery pool should keep increasing as the cycle repeats itself. EMP's detonator has around $5 million in the pool and therefore their lottery prices are very huge. The same thing should happen with wine press. Last but not least, I have a few things to discuss regarding the nodes. Now node maxis would be very happy to know that version 2 is coming. Version 2 will come with a variable APR which will reward compounders and punish the claimers. Moreover, if you are someone who has claimed since the beginning and have sold all your claimings, then there are chances that you won't be able to migrate to version 2. The Grape Finance team will airdrop your ROI if you haven't ROI'd yet. You shouldn't be worried too much if you have compounded once or twice. If you have compounded once or twice, then you are in for the migration of version 2. Lastly, the tickets will work differently than the version 1. In version 1, tickets were based on how many nodes you had. But in version 2, tickets will be based on the share and not the amount of the nodes you have. More info should follow soon. So make sure you check the announcements. Alright, before ending the weekly update video, I would like to once again congratulate Faisal, Taz and Havoc for making it to the team. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to spread the word around about Grape Finance. And make sure you DCA into Grape to help with PEG. Thank you for watching. Peace.